try to set yourself up so when you're going in there, you're handling middle, right? Puck's in front of you, right? And your head and your body goes to forehand side, and then you pull backhand, right? So you're handling, 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 throw your body, throw your head over here, and then pull it hard to backhand, beat him on that backhand side. Ready? Let's make sure we're skating. Let's make sure as much as possible when we're working on any of these moves, we're doing so with our head up and our eyes up. Go straight at them, throw it out to backhand side, and then pull it hard across the forehand side. Right? Backhand, forehand. Ready, Tristan? Go. Backhand flip, okay? Let's handle the puck, let's keep it up top in the middle. You're gonna go to forehand side. Right now on our forehand side, we wanna pull that puck into the middle of our stance. When we do, we're gonna lower hands, chip with the heel of our stick. One thing that helps when I've got on my, on my forehand, I pull inside. If I let my bottom hand slide down my stick just a little bit, get a lower grip, I'm gonna get down a little bit lower, use that heel to then chip that puck up in the air and catch it on my forehand. So I've got it pull the backhand, heel flip. Backhand, pull, flip. Up in the air and catch. Backhand, pull, flip. So on our sneaky pull, it's all right here. The whole move is right, is right there. We don't want the puck to go above this goal line. That's how tight we want it to stay to our skates. We don't want to handle it anywhere up in here in this general area. Right? We want to bring it all the way to the outside of our body, on our forehand side. The puck's out here. We're trying to bait that guy to move over a little bit to the left to go for it. Now, we use this little toe pull right here to yank that puck right across the lace of our skates. We can't touch it. We're going to try to get out of the way of the hit that might be there because we're going to be in tight to him. And now we grab it on our backhand side and we go by. Right? So the first lap, I just want you to work on not even worrying about skating, but just skating up, having it go on your forehand, reaching it out, getting as tight as you can, and then sneaky pull right across at the last possible second. I want you to think about, I'm getting way too close to this guy, way too close, I gotta throw it out forehand, and then I gotta sneaky pull it right across right there. It's barely coming through as it squeaks to the other side when I grab it. Our sneaky pull. In general, we're going to use our sneaky pull to change directions. Because I'm left-handed, I will use my sneaky pull when I'm going left to then go right. The instant I use my sneaky pull, I'm going to change directions from left to right. If you're right-handed, it's the opposite. Okay, so I'll do a little swoop. I'm going to come at this set of tires with a little bit of a swoop. I'm coming at a little bit of an angle. I'm changing directions. I get my sneaky pull way out. Boom, I change directions, and now I go right. I swoop in, sneaky pull, now I go to this side. I swoop in, I sneaky pull, now I go to this side. It's like fishing, right? The you gotta put the lure in the water and let it and dangle it a little bit. And when the fish goes to bite, that's when you got him. You allow that puck to go from on my forehand side to kind of a little bit further back, and I'm kind of like, come get it, or I might shoot it, and then it's like right there. 
right? Sneaky pull is going to work a lot. If I'm right in here and I look like I'm going to shoot top corner and the D's trying to block it, she, I'm going to shoot. No, sneaky pull. Now I go past the D who's standing right there and then I go up under the bar right there. Right, there's scenarios where you, there's a little pause before you make the sneaky pull for that deception, for that guy to believe, oh, maybe he's going to do something else with it. What's going to happen? You're using your full range of motion where, the, where there's a puck that went from being right here to sneaky pull to catching right here. Now we've made that puck just travel. Where's my mark? Right there to right there. We're talking about how far is that? 12, 13 feet. That's tough to, defense, to defend against if you can move the puck 12 or 13 feet, right? We're gonna do our underhandle move, okay? Called underhandle because you never touch it with the backhand side of your stick. We're gonna start with the puck by bringing it back into loaded gun position, right? We need to, in order for this to work, we need to fake a wrist shot. We need to look like a wrist shot. So we're gonna go from loaded gun position to shifting our weight to our front foot like we're gonna take this wrist shot right here, right? We're trying to, trying to fake that wrist shot. So we go from loaded gun position, we shift our weight forward as we're doing so, we open up our hands, we push on our forehand out to our forehand side and change the angle going wide in our forehand. I'm loading the gun, I'm shifting like I'm gonna shoot, I'm opening my stick and I go to my forehand side. Right? I'm loading it up, shifting like I'm gonna shoot, open my stick, go to my forehand side. What this gives us is the ability now from the same position to go either left or right. As an example, we come up, I'm right here, I'm gonna go inside leg, and then I can go backhand toe drive to go to this side. Same thing, I'm going inside leg, I'm, load, I'm loading it up. I'm right here, I'm loading it up inside leg, and then I'm gonna go push pull. And now I go under handle, and I go to forehand side. I still have options to go left and right against any defender. That makes me dangerous. I don't have one way to go, I can go either way. And I can make that choice in the moment, depending on what I see in front of me.